My name's Dave Burton, I'm the editor of Army Magazine. And the magazine goes to 16 to 18 year olds thinking about a career in the Army after they've finished education. We'd never done it before, but we thought it'd be great to do a whole magazine that's essentially like a special. So it's a one-off and we'll do it all in the studio. So we'll get different bits of kit, different soldiers from different regiments, and photograph them all in the studio in a controlled environment. As a snapshot of the army, teenagers who are interested in, in or thinking about joining can actually see just this range of opportunity that, that, that exists. Brilliant, that's some really lovely stuff there. Yeah. What I'd like to do now is come close. What I'll do is do you individually if that's possible. It's three very hard days' work, and we've achieved 3,500 photographs. Within that, we've photographed everything from a tank to a ram, but we've had it all. You know, we've had moving things, we've had horses, we've had mechanics, we've had guns, we've had snipers that look like bushes, we've had just about a bit of everything. So, yeah, no, it's been, it has been a baptism of fire. I mean, that's the fantastic thing about having a good team. You know, I've got a great digital operator, Emma. That's, you know, the first thing. And secondly, two great assistants who can throw lights around the room and still make it look all right. So we've had to adapt. We've used a lot of lighting setups that I wouldn't normally use. But because of the, you know, the scale of the operation and the urgency to get things done, we've had to adapt. In terms of the style, we have been asked to produce something quite gritty. We're using quite a graphic hard light on these um, with sort of a light coming around the sides of the face. Makes it look like it's in a real environment. Logistically, it's been quite interesting. We've had to hire in a lot of gear. We've had 14 pro photo heads, 10 strips and soft boxes. We've had the breeze, which is an amazing, beautiful light. Uh, we had two of those running, a 77 and 220. Camera-wise, we've had um, two Hasselblads running. We've had an H3D50 and an H3D39. The great thing for me is that this will work because there's a real mix between um, people and portraits and personalities and then just fantastically detailed bits of kit that Michael shot beautifully. So you kind of, everything is almost like it kind of looks like advertising, I suppose, in a way. It's just those, those detailed product shots are absolutely beautiful. The still life stuff's fantastic. But he's managed to get real personality from all the different soldiers as well. 